again everyone so i hope you are all guys having a good day and then let's move on to our next topic which is the uh, annuity with continuously uh, compounding interest so again we are all familiar with the different different method of compounding we have quarterly monthly annually etc so now we have uh, we have a given if what will you do if the given is annuity and the method of compounding is compounded continuously okay so this is what we will do so again we will have new formulas for this topic so recalling the formulas for annuity again so we have p is equal to a times that's one we'll just uh, consider the interest rate given so one plus i raised to negative um y n right Yn. But since um, this is compounded continuously, we can just uh, consider that n is just equal to 1. Okay. n is just equal to 1. So since n is equal to 1, uh, we will just be left with y. Uh, okay. So this is all over i. Next, uh, we have another formula which is F. So we have A, so this is just somehow the same. So this is 1 plus I raised to. Um, again, N is 1, so we can have here only Y minus 1 all over I. Now, Recalling the formula for um, recalling the formula for compound interest, if the um, if the method of compounding is compounded continuously, uh, how will you find the effective rate of interest? Okay, so getting the effective rate of interest, we can have the formula is I E must be equal to what? That is E raised to i minus 1 right and all we have to do is just replace all the i or all the interest rate on the formula with that formula but instead of i so so to make it less confusing uh, what i want to do what i would like to do is just replace ie with instead of using ie i just okay since we are using i on the formula this is i so we will replace all the i and this will become e raised to r which is r is just the rate okay so e raised to r minus one so if i will uh, replace all these values all the uh, i with this value we will have a new formula okay so replacing all of that you will have We will have, um, so it will become now P is equal to A times 1 minus 1 plus. Remember that I will be replaced with this one. So this will become E raised to R minus 1 raised to negative y all over again replace the i with e raised to r minus 1 okay and then um arranging this one you'll have that is um that is 1 minus 1 so that will become 0 and then so finally the final formula you'll have here is a times um, 1 minus so we will be left with e raised to r and negative y so since th those are both exponents when it is like that so properties of algebra you you can just have your e raised to negative r y okay. okay so that is all over e raised to r minus that's it. 
So this will be our first formula for the present word. Okay, so we will just do the same with um, the, uh, this one. So we have f equal to a times so 1 plus, again, replace i with a raised to r minus 1 raised to y minus 1 all over a raised to r minus 1. Okay, so rearranging again this one. So we have f equal to a times, again, that's, um, this is 1 and minus 1, so those will, uh, will be cancelled. And you will be left with um, e raised to r y minus 1 all over e raised to r minus 1. Okay, so this will be our second formula. So this uh, these two or the value or the formula for present and future worth are those uh, formulas that we will be using for this uh, video or for this lesson. Okay, so with that, let's move on to our uh, sample problems. Okay. Okay, now, so we have our uh, first problem. We have an annuity of 5,000 is to be paid in 5 years at the rate of 9% compounded continuously. What is the present worth? So the question is pretty straightforward. Uh, just take note that if the method of compounding is continuously, you don't have to worry about if the given interest rate is either an I or J, or if or the given is either interest rate or the nominal rate of interest, okay? So that is just, that's why I use a different a symbol for this one. So I use R. Okay, so uh, for number one, so we have first the given, we have annuity, okay, so annuity is 5,000. Okay, 5,000 and then paid in 5 years. So y is equal to 5 years. And then compounded continuously. So we have 9%. So r, r is equal to 9%. Or that is also equal to 9, uh, 0 0.09. And then so we are required to find the present word. So getting the present word, the formula for that is p equal to a that is just 1 minus a raised to negative ry and a raised to r minus 1. So let's substitute all the uh, values. So that's 5,000. That's 1 minus a raised to r. r is 0 0.09. Okay. Times y is 5. All over a raised to 0 0.09 minus and then computing for this using your calculators i was able to do this on the calculator in advance so value for this one is 19239 that's 19239.426 so this will be the answer okay without further ado let's go to our next problem so for the next problem we have a man deposits 59033 uh, each year into his savings account that pays 3% nominal interest compounded continuously. So how much will be the worth of the account at the end of 5 years? So as you can see, at the end of 5 years. So now we are looking for the future worth. Okay, so with that we have our given first. With the givens we have. So a deposits each year. So therefore he deposits uh, multiple times each year. So we ha So that will be our... A or the annuity. So that is 59033. That will be your A. And then your R will be um, 3%. And then Y will be 5 years. <clears throat> Since we're looking for the future worth or F, all you have to do is just um, substitute the values into the formula of F. That is f equal to a times um, e raised to r y minus 1, e raised to r minus 1. So substituting the values, we will have f is just equal to 59, 
That is E raised to R. R is 0 0.03 times how many years is that? That is 5 years. Minus 1 all over E raised to 0 0.03 minus. So calculating this in your calculator, you'll get this amount. I was able to do this also. That's 313699. 699.1395. Okay, so this will be your answer. Let's go to our next and last problem. Okay, so for our third problem and the last problem, we have a building is to be paid indefinitely at the rate of 3.5%. So the building's price is 1 million if paid in cash. So what is the amount of the building today for 12 years at the rate of 4.83 compounded continuously? Okay, so as you can see, we have two scenarios for this one. So we have here, let's put the givens first. So given... So we have the first scenario, okay, so we have the first scenario which is indefinitely. So we have perpetuity annuity. Therefore, your I will be equal to 3.5% and the building's price is 1 million if paid in cash. Therefore, that will be your P. So this is 1 million. So remember that this is perpetuity. Since perpetuity, since it's said to be paid indefinitely. So we have our second scenario, which is um, building in 12 years, y must be equal to 12 years at the rate of 4.83 compounded continuously. So this must be your R. So this is compounded continuously. So in order for us to do this, or for this one, for this one, we have y and we have r. Therefore, what we are missing is um, the value of a. Okay. So to get the value of a, we will get the value of a here. Okay. So for the solution, so we are looking for what is the amount of the building today. So we are looking for, or the required must be the P, okay, the P, or the present. Now for the solution, so getting the value of um, A here, again for perpetuity, uh, from the previous lesson, P is equal to A over I, right? And then we are looking for A. Therefore, we can also say here that A is just equal to P times i. So this is the p is 1 million, right? 1 million times i here is 3.5% uh, or 0 0.035. Therefore, your a is equal to 35,000. So if I'm not mistaken, that's 35,000. So we have already the value of a. So computing for, so second one, Okay, this one. So we again we are looking for uh, p. Okay, so p we are required to find p. So p again for compounded continuously, the formula for that is equal to one minus e raised to negative r y all over e raised to r minus. And then substituting all the values, so we have already the value of A, and value of R is this one, and value of Y is this one. So substituting all of that, we have A is equal to 35,000, and 1 minus E raised to negative R, that's 0 0.0483, times what? y is uh, 12 years right so 12 and then e raised to 0 0.0483 oops really hard to use the mouse when writing 
and 0 0.0483 minus 1. So the value for this one is equal to what? I was able to compute this earlier also. So this is 311.116.012. And this will be your final answer. Okay, so that's it for this video. Again, I hope I was able to help you with this uh, with your lesson and especially these online classes. And again, thank you all guys for watching. If you have any question regarding the lesson, just leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, hit that uh, bell notification icon so that you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new one. And I want to thank you all guys for watching and have a good one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.